I'm Terry White. Uh, I grew up uh, in the Little Creek community behind Little Creek Cafe. I spent most of the years there. Go ahead. I'm Louise White, Louise Cody White. I grew up on Bear Branch. I guess my biggest memory was on rainy days, had a basketball up inside shooting the basketball or just uh, stretch it out in the hay with a quilt and taking a good long nap. They tell on your aunt that she would go when they had the tobacco in the hung, that she'd push it all back and make her a room and have school in the room, but then she wouldn't put the tobacco back and the tobacco rotted. And Grandpa Fender was a little bit upset <laughs> about that. <laughs> so, the Airborns, they uh, tell this on my Grandpa Cody, and it's a memory that uh, they didn't have electricity to the barn. And so when they built it, uh, Daddy and Uncle Lee and I was uh, running a cord from the house. Well, Grandpa Cody was just sawing and sawing and making I fun of them with a handsaw. And so they finally got electricity to the spot and zip, they just saw, and uh, Grandpa Cody throwed his hands all away. <laughs> and Daddy, Daddy went and got it, he throwed it over in the briar patch, but after they was all done, Daddy went and got the hand saw. <laughs> so. Well, my granddaddy Fender lived at the mouth of uh, Fox Creek, that's where he lived. And of course, he kept his uh, mule in the barn and stable in the barn and uh, of course that old mule was she was a one man mule and i'd go visit my granddaddy and then say here take this mule across the road to the creek to water so i'd take that mule to the creek and she'd stand there and stand there and stand there and look at me what never drank and uh, take her back to my granddaddy and he'd say well did she drink and I said, no. He said, well, let me have her. He'd take her back to the creek and she'd drink and drink and drink, but never for me. That's a, and the old mule's name was named Pearl. Now our little barn where it was located, the little bottom that it sat in, a little flat piece of ground, was kind of a gathering place for the boys in the community to play baseball there in front of the barn. My dad always kept a milk cow, and the uh, only, only problem he had with we boys playing ball in his bottom, we'd lock his cow up in the barn and forget to let her out when we got done playing ball. So, uh, but it was a community gathering place there to play ball. Of course, like I said, our barn was small. I've been in a lot of the barns that were barely Barns in the area hanging the backers when I was a teenager growing up, just you know, helping different people. And uh, when I married Louise, her dad had a huge, big barn on Bar Branch, and the back shed of it was just all tiered, the poles tiered to hang tobacco in. That thing was high, it was like eight to nine, ten tiers high, which if you got on top, it was about up about 40 foot looking down. And I told him, I said, well, I've married your daughter. And I said, I'll do about anything in the world I can for you, but I'm not going to the top of that barn. <laughs> hanging the back. But before it was all said and done, I was right, right in the top of that barn hanging the back. So, yeah.